Bang it in. Shotgun for Long. Has the ball, drops back across the 50. He throws. That's a catch, and that is right, and right's going to be given the 42-yard line. They finally tackle him. Slung down back at the 45, but they'll give him the 42, so it's a three-yard gain to Anthony Wright. All right, a second down now and 32 at the 42-yard line. Shotgun again from the 50, throwing deep, going sideline. There's a man there. It's Schrader. Schrader, touchdown! Oh, 42 yards! Wow, nice play, nice fake. Dustin did a nice job of holding that ball, and, and Chad with showing that great speed down the sideline. Make it 65 to 10. Well, he caught two last week. That went 42 and the touchdown, and the Aggies now have made it 65 to 10. Can almost say the last time we scored more than this was uh, against Missouri when we had 70, as I recall. I have to go 70 some odd points. I know we had a big game against them and also against Tulsa one year. Here's the uh, kick. It's up and it's good. And now it's 66 to 10. The Aggies lead by 56 points. The score is 66 to 10. We are tied. That, that score ties. We're eight, what's A&M eighth on the all-time points scored in a game. We've got 10 minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. Aggies kick off. It's going to be very short. And it'll be taken at the eight. That's Andrews to the 20. And out to the 30-yard uh, line to the 31-yard line. All right, Baylor with uh, Sean Bell running the offense now. Taking over for Karras. They try the middle and uh, maybe a yard to the 32-yard line. It'll be second down and nine. There's second down and nine at the Baylor 32-yard line. Break the eye, put a man in motion coming to the right side. Bell looking to throw. He does. I think that's, is that Caroga? And it is Caroga across the 40 to the 41 yard line. First down and 10 near the 42. They're cheating up in the line again. That was Everett Smith. Break it out to the right side. Ankle tackled and down at about the 43. Baylor comes back to the uh, line of scrimmage facing second down and nine. The ball at their 43. The Aggies again putting people up. They rush Bell. They throw. It's a catch and it's not going to be enough for a first down. 7.30 to go in the game, and the Aggies up 66 to 10. Third down and five, Baylor. Bell trying to get word here to both sides of the offense as he looks left and into the right. Short drop, throws out of the hands, in and out of the hands. That was either Ziegler or Fields, and it goes incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Total offense now at 6.44 on just 65 plays. Baylor's run a play less at 64. They have 175. Sepulveda has been a weapon today. Van Zandt is calling for a fair catch, and he takes it at the 12-yard line. Ty Branion will quarterback the Aggies now. He has come in. We'll get Tim to talk about him here in just a moment. As they come to the line, well, quickly, what can you tell us about Ty? Ty's a walk-on from the Austin area, and he's a guy that's a redshirt freshman. Uh, takes every, every day at practice running the scout team, and in all the meetings, this has got to be a real thrill for him. All right, so he will move in and quarterback the team. He's got an eye formation lined up behind him. I think that's still uh, Perry in there at the fullback. Oshler gets the handoff, gets back to the 12. That was a first and 10 at the 12. It'll be second down in that same 10 at the 12-yard line. Just brought in Robert Jones, a, another running back. He's lined up in the backfields. And he is a fullback behind Oshler Fleming. Andy Matega stays in there. Here's Oshler on the handoff and uh, kind of tiptoes into the 13-yard line. Got a yard. Now you got a uh, third down and nine coming up. Okay, and we got third down and nine. Brandon moves up onto the center. Again with the eye formation behind him. Play action, drops back, steps up, throws out in the flats, and that's down a little bit too low, trying to get that uh, parry, and that's down around his ankles. It goes incomplete. Now it's fourth down. He'll take the snap at the goal line. The line of scrimmage is the uh, 14. Andrew's standing here at the uh, Baylor 44. There it's snapped, steps up, takes it. High kick, rolling off to the right side. It's going to get a big bounce, and that's going to roll to the 40, inside the 40, and uh, be killed at about the 36-yard line. Baylor with the uh, ball now. They'll throw a screen out here to the right side, and they're going to turn that into some positive yards. About four, they got it out to the 40-yard line. Single setback and a trips formation. Tackle was uncovered. They've thrown, and it's going to be caught by Fields. He has a first down. He goes across the 45. He goes to the Baylor 48-yard line. 
And their last winning season was that 1995 campaign we talked about earlier, which was the last time that they had won back-to-back -back conference games. They went 7-4 and four in 95. They went 5-2 and two in the SWC, but did not get a bowl bid. Here's a screen out to the right side, caught by Shelton to the Aggie 45, and one, two, three, four Aggies on top of him in a hurry. Not enough for a first down. Second down and about three at the 45. The handoff, Whitaker. Whitaker tries to get a first down, and I think he got it. He goes to near the Aggie 40 yard line. At the Aggie 41, with AM leading 66 to 10. Drops back, steps up, got by one man. He fumbled the ball, and the Aggies Aggies the ball cover. at the uh, Aggie 46. He had it stripped out of his hands. See Big Bryce Reed. Was it Reed who got it? Reed fell on top of the ball at the Aggie 46. First down and 10. The Aggies with the ball at their 46 with 319 to go. Play action by uh, Ty Brannion. He throws, and that's a catch at the 40-yard line. Clock's going to go under three by the time this ball is snapped. It's a shotgun with... Two on the left and two on the right. Uh, single running back. And that running back now is going to be a keeper by uh, Brannion. Here goes his pitch. It goes back at Carter at the 30, 25. And down the sideline, he's going to score. How about that? Goes in from 40 yards. One line, one quarterback to another former quarterback. And a boy on the sideline over here, Anthony Wright, just depleted a guy on the sideline. Boy, I know Kenny Pope. He gets excited about that when those receivers get downfield and make big-time plays. Great job, Jason Carter. Ty Brannion took it to the fullest there and made that great pitch to uh, Jason Carter. I think that's about our sixth guy to score a touchdown today. To go up and count that in a moment. We got uh, 417 rushing today on 46 carries, and we're at 699 on total offense on 70 plays. And that made it 72 to 10. And here is the extra point, and it's up, and it's good, and that makes it 73 to 10. All right, 73 points ties for sixth on the most points in a game list for Texas A&M, 73 to 10. And a young man whose last name is Brelsford has kicked off for the Aggies. Andrews will return from inside the 10 to the 20. Got it out to the 35 to the 40. He's out to midfield. He's across midfield. He just carried it to the 47-yard line. Line of scrimmage, and that line of scrimmage is the Aggie 48-yard line. They're looking for late second-half points here. They've not scored since the first half. Here's Bell looking down the field. He's got a man, and the Aggies oh, do, too. Bell and bullets. But it almost got it inside the 15 at about the 12, in and out of his hands. He scored 73 points in 93 against Missouri prior to the uh, Big 12, 73 and 93. So it matches that today, and this is the uh, fourth place. Uh, here is a, a ball that's that fumbled. So I think the Aggies sure got is. It. Dropped and recovered by AM at the 43-yard line. Ty Brannion was quarterbacking the last time they were out, and he stays there. Go in motion, handoff goes to uh, Oshler, and uh, Fleming has put the Aggies now over 700. He goes from the 43 to the 40. The Aggies will go to 702. Got his first carries of the year last weekend against Texas Tech. Oshler gets the handoff again, tries the middle. He's fighting for a first down. He'll be close. I think he got it at the 32. Okay, oh, it's second all time now. Okay, I'll give you a figure here in a moment. His first down and 10, it's a uh, draw, and it's Fleming, and uh, big yardage again. He's fighting for another first down. He's going to be close at the 22. I think he got 10 more. All right, we have just passed second all-time in total yards in a game. 705 was second, and now the Aggies have gone above that to 719. First place is out of reach at 774. Going to take the knee. And there's a flag down. We were still making movements. The Aggies came up, took the uh, snap, and took the knee. I think they said that's going to be it. This may be exactly what the doctor ordered. This team that needed to gain some confidence. Shift. Legal shift against uh, Texas A&M, so a five-yard mark off. Clock is at 32 seconds right now. Well, the uh, last three teams who told you earlier are 12 and two. Utah has proven to be a very good team. I think we're going to have to work on our uh, another flag down here. Our, try to finish out the game here. We haven't had this false start, false start against the Aggies. Hey, yeah. them's trying to kill the clock. Maybe those guys don't want to finish the game, Dave. Rushing yards, seventh all time today. A&M, 437 yards. Now we're taking some hits here. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe just a yard, but these penalties they'll take. 
probably going to end up with 718 if they take the name. That's going to be it. We'll run another play. That's all. That's all. And it has ended. And Baylor, after a big win last week, came in here with high hopes, and the Aggies dashed that against the Rocks. 73 to 10 is the final as the Aggies have beaten the Bears. You know, I don't know um, if anybody would have thought six weeks ago this offense scored 73 in a game and play as efficiently as they did today, and that was good, and it was great to see the defense ba bounce back and play the way they did. But it was, it was good for the defense. They needed that. Uh, they, they've been uh, um, beaten up a little bit, and, um, you know, they've taken responsibility. I don't think they've ever backed away from it, and uh, they knew that they're the only ones that, that can get themselves out of it. And uh, not only did they step up and hold them, I think, to less than 200 today, but they made the pivotal plays that you talked about that made a big difference in the swing of the game. Reggie, you know, I, he can hurt you in a lot of ways. You know, throwing it, handing it off, pitching it, keeping it. Uh, you know, and that's, that's what makes your offense go sometimes is the versatility that he has. And I believe that we've got some tough games ahead of us. But this game and, the, and what happened came at a nice time for us to, to give us uh, a little bit of a boost to go into those games. Well, we just had a good um, game plan this week coming into this game. And um, the offensive lineman did a great job blocking and opening up holes for the running backs. And also the wide receivers, they're getting blocks down the field, chopping boys down. So that made it a lot easier for the running backs to make yards. Uh, I had fun doing both. I mean, just being able to make plays. I mean, and we're just trying to get our mojo back. And that was a start right there. I mean, we just got to put together another good week of practice and just take another step next week. You know, you kind of have to ignore what some of y'all have to say. You know, <laughs> no offense to y'all, but um, we just we knew that it, this, was, this game was going to be about us. And we, we just went out and had a great week of practice. The defense practiced great. The offense had a good week and knew that if we could play like that, that this, this would be the outcome of a great victory. Yeah, that was one, that was one of our main concerns this week in preparing for Baylor is that we needed to come out and play play good, hard football. We kind of had a little meeting and talked about what we needed to do and get them three and outs. And then that first drive of the second half was the most important one. I think that was that was the tone for us. Well, anytime you get shellacked like we did, there's there's two things that could happen. You could come back out the next week and get beat again, or you can. Um, come together as a team and play well and we decided it would be more fun to come together and play as a team and we just we're just trying to trying to get our swagger back our uh, wrecking crew swagger back and that's that's what we're focusing on uh in my opinion today helped the defense out quite a bit uh because i mean we we all feel like uh as a defense there's a lot of people who probably lost confidence in confidence in us uh maybe think we're not as talented as the past defenses and we're just out to try to prove that we can be just as good or better than any defense that's come through Texas and m